One of Blackboard's greatest features is the adaptive release function because it allows you to define if, when, and why students can access content in your course. Let's say, for example, I don't want to give students access to presentation slides until after a lesson. I can locate my slides here, click on this arrow, and select conditional availability. I have two main options here. For now, I'll click on date time and pretend that my class starts after two minutes at 10.15 a.m. I'll then tell Blackboard to keep this document hidden from students until that time. When we click on save, we can see that the document is now hidden from students and is set to become available based on a date. Let's go to the student preview and double check that this is actually the case. When we open the week one lesson two folder, we see that our lecture slides are not available to students at the moment. Okay, now it's actually 10.15 a.m. So I can refresh the browser, return to the same folder, and we will find the lecture slides there. Again, this is really useful for automating your course and for differentiation. Let's exit the student preview and try the second option. This time, we'll open the week two lesson two folder. Here we have a midterm exam and a research essay. We click on the arrow and select conditional availability. Now, when we select performance, a new menu appears, allowing us to choose a graded assessment. We click on the midterm exam. And now we can tell the system to only allow students who achieve a certain score to access this research essay task. Let's select 90 points and hide this content from students who score lower. Recall from a previous video that in my student preview account, I have not performed well on the midterm exam. So now, when we open the student preview, we should not be able to see this research essay activity. This is great for applying differentiation to your online course, because potentially your advanced students can have a different learning path compared to your weaker students. And we can change this. If I return back to the research essay task, I can quite easily lower the grade requirement for accessing this activity, such that if I return to the student preview account, I'll find the research essay there. Ultimately, this is a fantastic feature in Blackboard Ultra, and I highly recommend you explore it. Thank you.